Living Security Matters now to our opening news, uh, which is uh, making headlines across Nigeria, west of Africa, that Nigeria's resident doctors have called off their strike action. Joining me now to talk more on uh, the uh, action of the doctors as well as uh, the development is Dr. Tui. Uh, good to have you join me on the news today. Thank you. Sir. Uh, you know, this is uh, something Nigerians have been asking for, and I recall you've been here with us talking about the uh, strike action. Now, tell us, did you see this coming? Obviously, it will come. Um, but the suddenness was not really expected, because what has happened is that, if you remember, the last NARD executive were insistent that governments must honor the memorandum of you know, action, you know, being signed uh, since last year, and of course, which led to the, to the beginning of the strike as at um, August 2nd, and lasted um, um, how many weeks? Nine weeks. Now, um, fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the new ESCO was coming in, and I, I can understand that new ESCO wouldn't want to start their own um, regime with a strike. They needed to find a way to end the strike and find a way to renegotiate. But what should be important for all of us is this. We've, we've had another space now, another space to look at the dynamics of the challenges facing the health system. Now, COVID didn't teach us anything. The prolonged study didn't teach us anything. But again, the strike has been called off now. We hope that every stakeholder involved in the health system will be able to look truly and say that, listen, we don't want a repeat. We don't want a situation whereby this new ESCO of National Union of Resident Doctors we we'll also feel that, listen, the only thing the government understands is strike. Um, government should learn from this and then be able to move forward and stabilize the health system. Because every strike um, has a way of depleting the confidence of the populace in health system. This was how we got to this situation whereby people don't want to patronize um, even the, 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 the you know, tertiary institutions, universities, federal government universities. I don't want to go to the private but, university. But again, it will look as if uh, this was a wasted, uh, you know, venture. Uh, two months down the line, and uh, well, the doctors are still uh, where they, they were. Their yeah. demands haven't been met. Again, it's not a wasted. Uh, for me, I won't see it as such because again, you have to defer to some authorities, even in the, in the medical system. You know that it's an apprenticeship system whereby you have to defer to your senior respect authorities. The Nigerian Medical Association. Um, said that, listen, guys, call off the strike. Government is ready to do further work. Could give them a, 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 um, an avenue, a higher to us to further talk and negotiate these things. And then um, if you look at it, because it, it must be a balance. Here we are, um, patients are suffering. They're not getting the requisite treatment. Doctors seems to be, you know, we're at wit end of, on both sides. Um, the, the, the labor minister was calling them his children. And then you know a lot of a lot of wrangling, a lot of bad management of labor issues um, with this strike. But again, there came an opportunity for us to rethink because every disagreement, every test ends up in negotiation of the table. We are going to end up looking at ways to resolve this thing. I hope my major concern is that I hope that the nation, the stakeholder, the government, everybody, even including national resident doctors, must have learned from this. Absolutely. But, but, but again, uh, Dr. Tui, do you think this uh, is already a divided union? Uh, because uh, we have a new new uh, ESCO in place. And you look at the uh, voting pattern, 56. To uh, 28. Yeah, to 28. Yes. Yeah, a, a, again, um, there's still the strong force looking at this feeling that, listen, we shouldn't have called off the strike. But again, you cannot pass problem from the previous executive to the current executive. They have to fit, sit down and f get the feeling and figure out how to renegotiate and think the thing. Uh, for me, for them to call up the strike is not unexpected. Let's, let's be sincere, it's not unexpected. But the point is that as you go forward from this, it will not depend on the skill and assiduity of the new ESCO to figure out how to actually navigate this thing. It's, 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 it's actually, you know, a lot of tendencies, a lot of challenges that have been coming to the whole thing. But we expect that going forward, government should have learned, especially the, 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 the labor, um, minister of labor and, and, the, and the cohort, should have been able to understand strictly how to navigate a very challenging situation. We didn't learn it from COVID. I hope we learn it from this. If we don't learn it from this, and these guys now 
you know, have to go on strike again, it won't be too tidy. And then we hope that this will have opened the opportunities for stakeholders, other stakeholders, to figure out how to get really engaged with the health delivery system in this country. We hope so. You know, uh, quickly before we let you go, uh, Dr. T, uh, you know, one of the key demands of the doctors is, uh, you know, caring for those that have gone, who lost their lives, you know, caring for those who uh, were down with COVID-19. And now that, that's a big one because uh, the memories of these colleagues of the eyes must not be in vain. Um, did you get any word from the government uh, if these people are uh, gone will be so honored and uh, their families taken care of? Yeah, so I did, uh, that's really, very important. Yes, we, we're not getting any really serious commitment from the government because the government felt that, you see, um, doctors are now turning it into a kind of blackmail to, for them. Um, the perception of government of this doctor strike is so unfortunate. But what we're going to have is going to have a, a quite is that we, we there will be a lot of challenge, you know, within the structure of NARD. Um, we look up to the Nigeria Medical Association to be able to um, bridge the gap between the NARD and the government and see how to get a win-win situation on both sides. Um, but I can tell you there are tendencies and people will feel that how can you come um, and then just call up the strike without us achieving much. So for me, it's not the, an end to industrial actions in the health, in, in the health sector. It's going to take another format. And for each of those formats that comes, it further erodes the confidence of the populace in the health system. How, how, when are we going to get over this? We're going to get over this when we're going to sit down sincerely and look at the health system holistically. I feel that it concerns you and I and move money and move human resources and then be able to deeply discuss the issue of health system beyond strike. We should be looking at the health system beyond strike because, again, strike is not adding values to us. Um, and then we must be able to put our leadership into, into, to align with the health system available in the country and not just run away every time. If they can be able to achieve this, I, I'll be, I, it will be better for all of us. Medical policy expert, Dr. Tree, many thanks for your time. My pleasure every time.